an idea literally sliced right through my mind, Billy the Young Years. Once we decided it was a ghost situation and we were happy to jump in financially and creatively, um, we set about coming to Tennessee back in November. Most people know the Billy Graham of the public eye, the minister, the, the advisor to presidents, world traveler, you know, best-selling author, and decided that the story we wanted to tell was the untold story, which was Billy as a young man. Several of us have polished and written the screenplay, and really it evolved with the director coming on board, with the cast coming on board, with new data coming on board, and then with the whole structural change of having Charles Templeton as he looked back on life. We knew going in that uh, uh, finding Billy Graham, that is the character to play Billy, uh, was going to be perhaps our most daunting challenge. <laughs> we also did a nat national talent search for Billy and spent three months from New York to San Francisco to LA to Nashville looking for the right actor to play Billy because that really was the key. You needed a young person who could play 17 to 30 and carry a movie. It was the eyes, Billy Graham's eyes. And that stuck with me um, uh, as we were searching for the right person to play Billy. When Army Hammer walked into the room and did probably one of the best auditions I had ever seen in my life, um, I just thought, well, you've got your Billy Graham. A lot of work went into this. I mean, watching hours and hours and hours of footage and tapes and all that stuff and watching his sermons and reading his books and getting familiar with him as a person. And then, uh, but even more than that, there was a lot of spiritual work that went involved with it. You know, there's a lot of biblical principles and a lot of spirituality that gets incorporated into this film, obviously, because it's Billy Graham. So, I mean, I really had to know what I was talking about and what I was dealing with. So there was a lot of, you know, reading the Bible and soul searching and getting comfortable with myself in that aspect so that I could really play that on screen and stuff like that. Ruth Graham was just an unbelievable woman, just really, really beautiful. She had such a beautiful spirit and um, such a joy for life. She was just a thrill seeker and really adventurous and um, had a great personality. And um, when I originally heard about the film, I went and got a bunch of books and read about six or seven books on her and looked up a bunch of pictures and found all the research I could just about her and her life and her family and um, just really grew to love this woman. Basically, my guy was uh, born again Christian when he was 19 years old, became an evangelist, was preaching in Canada and northeastern America to about 40,000 people in the late 1930s and early 1940s and was really set up to become the next D.L. Moody or the next Billy Sunday and was in the evangelical world thought to be the next big guy what Billy Graham was to become. As Templeton looked at the devastation and the mayhem of World War II, out of that he started asking the great questions of life. Unlike Billy Graham, Charles Templeton went to a uh, theological seminary at Princeton, started asking the big questions, trying to find answers, and instead of coming to the simple conclusion that, you know, we've been given free will and, you know, you just choose God by faith and faith alone, Charles Templeton said, I don't buy it at all and there is no God. And he became then this really loud sort of mouthpiece for agnosticism um, and wrote a book about it his farewell to Jesus and or his farewell to God and basically um, you know just became a really outspoken agnostic. The audience will come to really appreciate uh, the depth of Army Hammer's commitment to uh, the gospel, uh, the integrity of his life uh, and at the end of the day uh, my sense is the audience will believe uh, at least for the the brief period they're in the theaters that this is Billy Graham. The experience here has been phenomenal. We've been blessed and Weather, crew, locations, personnel, actors, music, everything in Tennessee came together to make Billy Graham a, a reality.